Uh, Mike Seely, I'm president of the Lafayette Catholic School System. I oversee a system of five schools here in the greater Lafayette area. Three elementary schools, a pre-K, and Central Catholic, our junior, senior high school. We have campus of five buildings, all very different in terms of size, location, um, capacity. And uh, we are seeing an enrollment growth, and we want to get a sense of are we utilizing our space appropriately. Right now we're seeing some overcrowding in our classrooms. One of our selling points is small class sizes. Uh, so we want to make sure that we present uh, uh, an environment where students can feel like they get the attention they need from teachers. Teachers feel like they have the opportunity and with a small class size to teach to the abilities of the students in their class. We reached out to the School of Industrial Engineering to see if they could help us with this project. They took a look at all of our buildings in terms of square footage, how we're using that space, how often those rooms are used, uh, what size uh, capacity they can have. So they had to look at Indiana state law to determine how many students could be in each classroom building based on square footage. We also looked at the bell schedule so they can determine how often that's, that classroom is used, uh, when it's used throughout the week to help us determine whether or not we're utilizing our space appropriately. The overall goal of the project is to get a sense of how we're using our space among the five building campuses across the city. We're seeing an increase in enrollment and we want to make sure that we, one, can enroll the students and have the space to do that. Uh, are the classes in the appropriate classrooms based on student age and population um, and ultimately to be able to serve our students the best that we can, um, our teachers and staff the best that we can in order to provide our our students and their families a outstanding Catholic education. Our goal was really to find out how much space do they actually have and what can, changes can we make to their classrooms so that they could fit more students without decreasing the quality of education. Our first thing we did was meet with our project client, Mike, and he kind of gave us a big rundown of you know, what was actually going on with the situation, where the current state was, and kind of where they wanted to be in the future. And once we had gotten got an overview from him, we went through and toured each of the five different schools just to get an uh, overview of where their current states were at and to kind of understand you know, what the situation looks like in the uh, different classrooms across the different schools. There were three primary solutions we came up with. Um, a storage, uh, storage utilization strategy, a strategy for um, you know, classroom layouts, and also something to help with room reassignment. So initially we had to look at enrollment data that the client had given us as well as the physical square footage of each building to determine what their percent utilization was at and whether or not they were in grounds with Indiana law. Uh, so the state law we looked up said that each student needs about 30 square feet to themselves in any given building. Um, and so with that we would take the total square footage of the building, divide by 30 to say here's the theoretical max capacity of each building and compared that to the current enrollment listed of the building um, as provided by the client. Um, and so once we did that, we had an idea of if any of the buildings currently were over capacity. Uh, thankfully, they weren't. They were all under capacity. So then we sort of shifted gears to how do we save the client as much money as possible while providing them ways to increase enrollment and still be under that capacity. The team worked to create a layout plan that standardized storage throughout the year. So long-term storage in terms of special events and whatnot was kept in one central location that could be brought out as needed by the teachers and then stored and forgotten about, where daily use items were more prevalent in the classroom. Uh, we worked to increase a introduce a labeling system as well, so loose objects were filed away into storage bins where everything was neatly labeled. And the team found through theoretical mock-ups and whatnot that in any given classroom you could have one or two shelves completely free, whereas before each shelf was stocked full and it looked like there was no room. After that, the team looked at changing layouts in classrooms to be more efficient. So for example, at the high school, several rooms had circular table layouts where it was great for collaborating, but you lost out on space for up to five or six students in some areas. Um, so we looked at changing styles to accommodate um, more students, and we actually found that in, each, in any given classroom, they could hold up to 25 to 27 students um, compared to an average classroom size currently of 18. Um, the team did end up settling on a, a theoretical classroom size of 22 to um, sort of be more in line with teacher goals as well as to keep costs down because after a certain number of students, I believe 23, you need to hire additional uh, teaching aides for the teachers and we try to keep the costs low. Um, so we settled on 22 to not only provide them with an enrollment increase of roughly 200 across all five schools as the client wanted, but to still keep in line with what teachers needed and keeping costs down. Finally, the group looked at reassigning classroom spaces. So one good example we found was in the high school. They had a music and band room that were right next to each other that were utilized on average about 25% of the day or of the week. 
um, and their schedules did not align. So for example, the band room could be used from 9 to 10 on a Monday, and then the music room was used 10 to 11 by the same teacher. So we looked at just shifting both of those rooms into the same room, which freed up the second room for increased storage or offices, whatever the client decided they may need um, at the conclusion of the project. So in all in all, the team created sort of a three-pronged approach between classroom layouts, classroom assignments, and storage that provided the, the client with a minimally evasive and cost-effective approach to increasing their enrollment. So it's awesome to see that you could apply the same principles that you go to school for in a classroom or something beyond just a factory plant for. And the second big thing that was helpful is you take a project when you start like this and there's five different buildings with each their own problems, their own benefits, their own unique locations and challenges. And it's sort of, it's hard to wrap your head around at the start. Uh, and through working with the team and sort of what we've done both individually in this group as well as with the client, it's sort of been helpful to see how to address a problem um, cyclically so that you can just break, in one, break it up into branches um, and tackle one branch at a time and we end up with a pretty um, um, comprehensive solution at the end where each individual sub-problem that we've identified at the beginning has been challenged and has a solution that's iterative as well. Uh, what has impressed me about the IE students is their, I guess, maturity. Um, all seem very smart, um, capable. Uh, one of the interesting points is when I first met with them and got introduced to them, none of them were from the state of Indiana, which was a little surprising. So that gives me a good sense of kind of the diverse interest and population that Purdue's bringing in. I think that's great for the local community uh, to kind of have that, that, that kind of student perspective that's coming from different parts of the country. Um, they've been engaging and curious, uh, really getting in and asking appropriate questions for not only myself, but I had them meet with a principal here. I had to meet with teachers uh, to get feedback from them about how space is used, uh, why certain space is important to be a, either designed a certain way or certain furniture needs to be here because we are a pre-K through 12 system. And so when you're dealing with kindergartners, it's a little bit different than when you're dealing with seniors in high school. Um, so they kind of had to take that all into account when they're kind of giving us a roadmap of, of space utilization moving forward. And they've handled it, um, again, very professionally. Communication has been strong. And uh, they've been a great partner so far uh, with the Lafayette Catholic School System.